A lot of us have seen about four to five inches of rain this past week. Multiple rounds of rain and storms. It all started off on Monday, Wednesday and Thursday. First alert weather day is a calmer day in store for your Friday. Some of you out in parts of DeKalb County, though, might be like, what's this guy talking about? It's very noisy, heavy rainfall and quite a bit of lightning, but the lightning counter is starting to go down. We do have a few lingering showers, so if you want to play it safe, Looks like you just need to grab that umbrella out to Summer Bluff. You've got 72 there and Stevenson out to Cameronsville and Long Island up to South Pittsburgh. You've got the Lodge Cast Iron Factory up there. Always nice to stop by. Eider Townsend Crossroads out to Cloverdale and that's right along I-59 Powell to Rainsville this morning. This is just kind of light to moderate rainfall. And up there, I think that's the bats waking up this morning. Geraldine Crossville out to Collinsville. I mentioned I-59 there. Some of these producing maybe some 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts. I know that big cluster of rain and storms earlier about 2 a.m. When I was driving into work, the stoplights were shaking on my way coming in over 72 in Chapman Mountain. Aren't the ha uh, Hartzell, excuse me. Good morning to you, Decatur, as well speak. That is just some light rain, not seeing any lightning with that. We've got some low clouds and some visibility issues out in Gunnersville, but the rain moving out of Marshall County should be a generally dry day for the kids heading to the bus stop 74 kids. It is Friday. I know a lot of you starting to settle into that school routine and groove, but we've got a nice weekend again, hot and humid Saturday and Sunday with the heat index in the triple digits later on today, upper 80s to low 90s, very sticky southeast wind about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but the humidity that is not going to let up anytime soon. Temperatures when you factor in the humidity mid to upper 90s for that heat index today. Here is your weekend forecast. Both mornings we start off in the low to mid 70s. I think we'll see some areas of dense fog to start off Saturday morning going with a 30% chance of pop up showers and storms both Saturday and Sunday. That doesn't mean it's necessarily going to rain at your house, but it will rain in some spots. In fact, you could get those general summertime storms, quick downpour, you get that cooling feeling, but a lot of lightning and maybe some gusty winds. Here's your heat index uh, later on today, ramping up a bit anywhere from 100 to 105. We go into tomorrow. We start hitting the triple digits, but then the model brings in some rain and storms that will cool things down at least briefly. Humidity really settling in for Sunday. In fact, we might even have heat advisory criteria coming for your Sunday. So we'll keep you up to date on that. Meteorologist Jeff DeNoyer, meteorologist Chelsea Aaron, tracking everything this weekend, including the heat and humidity. Rain and storms move off to the east. We've got some clearing skies. We'll go mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Later on today, there is a chance of seeing an isolated shower or a storm. Same thing expected over the weekend. Each day is pretty repetitive here. Let's get to your 10 day forecast weekend. Looks good. It will be hot and humid again. Heat indices over 100 degrees, maybe even heat advisory criteria for Sunday. We've got some great days though coming next week, mid to upper 80s and mainly dry Tuesday and Wednesday.